Welcome to Centurus's video training series. Today, we will be showing you how to make a parameter mapping in IBM Cognos Framework Manager. Centurus offers a full curriculum of Cognos courses, all led by IBM certified experts with extensive field experience outside the classroom. This video highlights the expertise of our instructors and is a small segment of a more comprehensive recording which is available for free on the Centurus website. Let's get started. The uh, first example here is uh, fairly involved. There's several aspects to this that go into uh, the idea of a uh, row level security implementation. Our objective revolves around this basic requirement. We have in the sample data, there's five product lines. Each of them has a, a unique product manager responsible for that product line. So again, you can apply this concept to many different areas of, of any business. Basically what I want to do is restrict access to the product line information based off of the manager that is running a query or running a report. The wrinkle to this, which is again very common, is that there are other users who should have access across multiple product lines. I have a sales director that should be able to see all the product lines. I have a marketing manager that has, must have access to the three of the five product lines. So how we implement this, there are a lot of different ways to approach this, but the, the best practice is really to implement this type of security in the metadata so that we centralize control of that. We do see oftentimes that people will use reports, techniques within Report Studio to kind of enforce these rules, but um, we always think that it's better to centralize this type of requirement within the model. So the first thing I need is some sort of mapping that's going to take those usernames that I know about, what their username values are, and maps them to the values in the data. So in the parameter maps area of your model, if you've never seen what these things are, they're fairly simple. Um, you can create parameter maps in a number of ways. I'm going to go ahead and just create one called um, user lookup. And you can see that you can do a manual keying in or in, bring them in for an external text file like a CSV or uh, a tap limited file. You can also base them on existing query items, which means that you have a database table, for instance, or maybe a lookup table that you maintain. Remember, Framework Manager allows you to bring in data from any number of data sources. So even if you don't have this, for instance, in your Mart or your warehouse, but you do have another database facility that you can use for the lookups, uh, you can leverage that and base parameter mapping on a table that you maintain elsewhere, which is the most dynamic way to do this. I'm just going to go ahead and manually key these in just to give you an idea of how this works. Um, and notice that, again, I can import the map from an external file. I can also just key the values in and make them a part of the model. And this obviously means my maintenance is going to be uh, manual here within the model. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a default value that basically will map to all of the product lines. So if somebody is not in a particular group or they don't, in, they're not in my population of parameter keys, then they'll see everything. That may not be exactly what I want. That may be the opposite of what I want. On my default value, I may make a null so that when they query, they get nothing. Uh, it's just a matter of how you want to implement this. So what I'm doing basically is I'm mapping filter criteria to usernames. That's it. So I'm going to click Finish. And now I have to take this mapping concept and apply it to my table or tables in the, the metadata we call these query subjects. So I'm just going to go ahead and dump this expression in on the product line subject so you can see. You can see your product line data source subject just as a simple select. There's no constraints unless we add them. So I'm going to add a filter here. Give it a name and basically I'm going to just link the product line code and say that the product line code should be in because there is the possibility that people can have multiple product line code values associated with their user ID. So I'm going to go to my parameters 
And this is how kind of the magic happens here. Basically, I'm just going to link my parameter map into the, or insert it into the expression, the user lookup. Notice that there is a macro expression here. The pound symbols indicate a macro function. The dollar sign user lookup is the parameter map expression. The curly braces is my input, meaning which parameter do you want to look up using this mapping. And so you can see I showed you all the session parameters available in Framework Manager. I have access to all of them in my expression. As long as I'm using these query macros, I can then drop the username token into the user lookup parameter map. And then I just simply need to close my parentheses. And you can see right now what this is evaluating to. It's evaluating to that default value because administrator is not in the map. So the default value is to show everything. So if I test this out as administrator, I'm going to see all of the product lines. And if I look at the SQL, you should be not surprised to see the where clause of product line code in, right? Now, in Framework Manager, as developers, since we are only signed in as ourselves, we have the ability to override session values so that what you can do here is override your username and test out what would happen if I was signed in as Al. And so I'm providing an override value on username. And now if I test this, so this is the result that Al would see. And you saw the SQL, the where clause was bringing Al's mapped value of product line code 2101 into the data. We hope you enjoyed this Cognos training tip. Centurus offers a full range of Cognos training solutions. Everything from regularly scheduled online courses to one-on-one -on -one mentoring. For more information on expert-led Cognos training, contact Centurus.